Welcome to Underwater Math. Today we are going to learn about numerical patterns, and how to create a table of values from a given rule. Ted and Charlie are excited to get started. A rule for a numerical pattern is just a mathematical equation that relates two variables. Specifically, it tells us how to get from x to y. A table for this pattern is a list of values showing that relationship. Murphy is jumping for joy excited to practice finding a table when given a rule. Let's look at an example. The equation y equals x plus 6 can be used to determine y, the number of dog bones needed for x amount of dogs in doggy daycare. Which table shows the relationship between x and y? Take a closer look at this rule. It states that each y value is created by adding 6 to the corresponding x value. So the correct table will show this for every pair of values. If we add 6 to each x value in the first table, we get an untrue statement. The rule does not work for this table. Can you tell what the rule is instead? That's right. 6 is being multiplied to each x to determine y. This table follows the rule y equals 6x. Let's be sure the second table matches our given rule. If we add 6 to each x value, do we get our y values? Well, doggone it we do. Fabulous. Let's try another. Dog Day's daycare is building dog houses for their furry friends. The relationship between x, the number of dog houses built, and y, the number of hours it takes to build them, can be represented by the equation y equals 2.5x. Which table contains only values that represent the equation? When a number is next to a variable like this, it means we are multiplying. So this equation states that each y value is created by multiplying 2.5 to the corresponding x value. We can see that the first pair in each table works using this rule. But in the second table, multiplying x by 2.5 for the rest of the pairs doesn't work. The pairs in the first table are successful. Let's try one more. Which table contains only x values and y values that make the equation y equals x plus 3.1 true? This equation tells us that the table we are looking for adds 3.1 to each x value to determine the y value. What do you notice about Gruff's table? How are we going from x to y? Yes, each x value is multiplied by 3.1 to get the y value. This is not the correct table. Steve O's table shows a number being added to each x value. Can you see what number that is? You got it. It looks like 3 is added each time. This is not the correct table, but close. Does Rosie's table work for the rule given? Absolutely. Adding 3.1 to each x value determines the corresponding y value. Rosie is our winner. Great work today. Keep practicing and have fun. See you next time on Underwater Math.